Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about our Barbarian that we're working on, the Immortal King's Hammer of the Ancient build. Um, quick look at the set thing here. Oh, kind of Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny and I wanted to get started on our journey to a Greater Rift 100. The first rift that we're going to run. Um, we can do it at level 23, but I'm a pretty fresh 70. I just completed getting all the gear for my uh, Immortal Kings build. Um, the set gear. I'm still missing the weapons, the rings, the legendary gems, all of that stuff. So um, we're going to document the journey here. I mean, look at this, level 61 still. I, there's a lot of farming to do, but the main core, Braces of the First Men, is part of it. Fury of the Ancients is a part of it, and of course, all of the set pieces. We have we don't have the right um, Traveler's Pledge amulet, and our weapon is well. There's two weapons we're gonna use. We're gonna use two one-handers from a set that I can't remember the name of right now. Actually, I can see it right here. Hold on. They are the Little Rogue and the Slanderer, and they are part of a set that gives a bonus. Every time you spend a primary resource, gain 6% increased attack speed, damage, and armor for 5 seconds. This effect can stack up to 5 times. This is a beastly build, dude. Really beastly. This is going to easily push us if we can get the stuff that we need. But we got all the Immortal Kings set that's going to allow us to run through the build. Or run through the rotation. I've got all the skills set right here. The primary thing for this build, it's Hammer of the Ancients. Obviously, that's going to be our little trigger, ZR. We're going to spam that whenever we can. We always keep Call of the Ancients up, unless one of them dies. And Wrath of the Berserker is going to make our damage insane. And the Furious Charge will allow us to zip around, and we got a couple shouts going as well. So, let's just do... Let's do a 10, okay? We're going to take it 10, 20... 30 when it starts to get hard we'll do it in fives okay and that's just how we'll keep doing these episodes so let's my difficulty level is pretty high right now so let's just burn through a torment one like i said pretty fresh not tuned at all this is basically you just turn 70 and maybe you have the set pieces right so that's what we're gonna do so the first thing we do is the little war cry there, and then the other one, we bring up our ancients, and we're ready to roll. So I like to zip in. Um, you should be able to constantly have your Wrath of the Berserker open, because you, every time that you use a resource spending attack, you reduce the cooldown on it. And that is a, um, that's the set bonus from the Hammer of the Ancients. Of course, I gotta find some enemies to actually kill to reduce this cooldown, and I did not, so that's lame. So, we actually... Man, this is a bad little... Furious Charge is cool if you hit four or more enemies, it actually refreshes itself, which is pretty neat. So, you can zip around a lot if there's like a big pack of people. Or you need to make a quick escape and you're getting assaulted. Boy, I wish this was a more exciting level. How are you guys doing today? This isn't going to be super long. Probably like 5 or 10 minutes. Although, at this rate, we'll be lucky to hit the timer. Oh, speaking of the timer. Uh, here, let me move myself. Gotta move both of us here. This is... This is great video quality here, but I want you to be able to actually see what's going on here. What's that look like? There we go. Here, let me move me right there. Right there. There. So now I'm below the timer. You can actually see it. I always forget to do that because I always record in the... I try to record in the middle position for most games. No way. Channeling is good. All right. So your main goal is to make sure your shouts constantly stay up. Don't stand in the poop, ever. Channeling is good because it refreshes all of our cooldowns super fast, and we don't actually really need to wait at all to zip around like crazy. It's almost like having a speed pylon and a power pylon at the same time when you're using a furious charge barb like this. See, we can just go super quick, keep our wrath up. Impossible. So, 
that's the main go the main goal the whole time is to manage your two shouts constantly keep your wrath of the berserker activated you need to manage three buttons and kill people that's it it doesn't really get much more simple than that I guess the Crusader was a little more simple, but I mean, we still ran into issues. Mainly with keeping the cooldown for Condemn going. Or the cooldown for our, uh... What the heck is the Crusader equivalent of Wrath of the Berserker? I can't even remember. But jeez, don't we look badass? Isn't that awesome? And I'm still learning how to play, right? Like, I constantly forget to refresh my stuff. I don't manage it properly yet. Ooh, there's a channel error. Please be a conduit pylon so that we can have some fun. Wow, oh, speed's okay. So now my wrath is gone. But I haven't used any resource spending attacks to reduce the cooldown, and now I have no fury to do so. So there, now it's back. So let's keep going. Let's see if we can actually use this. Use our Hammer of the Ancients enough to actually beat the cooldown on Wrath. And it doesn't look like we can. So one of these shouts actually kind of sucks in your, uh, your Wrath from your enemies. So if you're not finding anybody, you're basically resetting. Unless you refresh it a little bit, like right there. We also have bonuses to damage if we have a lot of wrath going, right? See, now we have like no fury. Alright, there we go. Okay, and we're back up. Good, there's a pack here. So if you're new to running Greater Rifts, you always want to look for those, um, those elite packs there, the, the blue ones. They're much harder to kill, but they do drop the orbs. Also, the yellow bosses will drop orbs as well, and that will make that little damage meter jump a few percentage points faster than it would be if you were just killing regular enemies the whole time. See, my wrath is down right now, and I just don't know why. Well, I mean, because I haven't been able to refresh it, of course. But I think it's all going to be part of learning this build. See, this is, that was a pretty nasty pack. You didn't really see it, because my my homeboys here are so badass. The squad, as I like to call them. Wow, I didn't even get to hit it. Who's, who's that MVP right there? The long-haired one there. Yeah. Here, let's take a screenshot. Well done. Uh, we got a ring. Uh, we are looking for a ring for the build. And we don't have any of our legendary gems in. We're still trying to upgrade them. Bane of the Trap is obviously going to be something that we want. It's basically free damage if you can put it in something. So we will always be trying to get that to level 15. That's the or level 25. So yeah, level 20. If you if you go to level 25, it actually puts out uh, a slowdown aura that actually triggers it. That triggers the damage from itself. So you don't need anything extra. Let's go to town. Check out our goodies. Maybe we got something that we want for our build. Let me just see what it is we need. So the ring that we want is the Convention of Elements. Did we get it? We did not. We got a Unity. Unity is good. Um, if you put a Unity on your follower and you, you guys will actually split the damage. Which is nice. We got some new gems here. Uh, we got a Wreath of Lightning and a Swiftness one. There was some one other Legendary. And the Leoric's Crown. Very useful if you're trying to farm experience, maybe some Paragon levels. Um, I'm actually going to... Am I going to keep this? Maybe. We'll think about putting it in the chest. As far as Paragon points go, um, I always max. I always try to max out the movement speed. Well, I didn't even level. Oh, let me go talk to the guy. Complete it. Maybe I do level here. There we go. There's a screenshot. All right. So for Paragon points, um, I usually follow the same formula for every single character. Crit hit damage first, 
Um, for the core, I do movement speed. You want to max that out to 25. Area damage, I always max that out. And then resists, I always max out too. Did I spend them all? I did. Good. So, that was quick and dirty. Pretty simple. That was the GR10. And we are going to gear up and try to hit a GR20 next. I think we can do a GR20. I think we could probably do all the way to GR30 or 40 with this current setup, but I'm not sure. I haven't actually tried. Oh wait, I did do, I should try a 20. It went okay. So I'll make a video for that one at another time. Uh, be good to each other. And I will see you guys in the next one. And while I'm here, I did make a video about getting from 1 to 70 quickly. I did it in the weekend that the season opened. It took about five and a half, six hours. So it wasn't too bad. It was pretty casual. Um, I'll put a link to it. You probably see it now. Take care.